oh, there's been ups and downs. I've been frustrated and worked 20 hours when I shouldn't have worked 20 hours a day. It was hard work. It was labor intensive, physical all the time. Uh, but I enjoyed it. I really, really did. I didn't think about the money. As long as my family was taken care of, I, I wasn't out ever to get rich, ever. How it started was I lost my construction job. Somebody in church had just moved here from California, started the dairy. So he said, I need a milk nurse. Well, I don't know how to milk. So put me in the barn and was with me for a half hour. And uh, from then on, I was at, I've been in the barn, you know, that's 35 years ago. <laughs> When we started, we got up to 200 cows, and they all had names, and you could remember them all. There's Jasmine and Amber and Reba and Mort, Cheetos and Cheese Puff and Chesterina and Chips. <laughs> but each animal is really precious, precious, precious. Life is precious. How you doing, girls? The flies getting at you? Hmm? What are you up to, Reba? Hmm? You want more food? Hmm? 20 years ago, 25 years ago, there was 17 little dairies. And it's all gone to big, big, big dairies because that's uh, the way they can compete and get in the market. And then the law changed saying that we could sell milk shares and then sell raw milk to the public. It just goes so much easier and smoother and less stress. Stress does a lot of bad things to animals and to people. And if you can eliminate it, it helps a lot. I went to the brewery and uh, asked them if they had extra grain for sale, that I would like to buy it and feed it to my cows. Uh, here at Odell, we use a tremendous amount of malted barley. You know, we're talking multiple tons of malted barley per brew, and we're cranking out six brews a day, 20 brews a week. Um, and so we're talking tons and tons, literal tons of malted barley. Lugene takes away that spent grain and converts it into some of the best milk you've ever had in your life. It gets mixed in with uh, the grass hay and the alfalfa and the silage. If there's a clump, they'll eat it first because it's sweet, it's still got sugars in it. And then they eat more and then they make more milk. Lugene comes twice a day and he'll come and pick up that spent grain and then he takes that back to his farm which is about 10 miles from here. He's probably in his 60s now and I've seen him doing stuff that people here in their 20s and 30s could not and should not be doing without a ladder or maybe a buddy to help them. There's not one time in 23 years where I went over there and said, I wish I didn't have to go. Never, not once. Lugene has to be one of the gentlest men I've ever met in my entire life. If I'm carrying in something from outside that weighs over 10 pounds, it's, oh, let me get the door for you and let me carry that box for you. It's always, you know, asking about my family and there's a lot of people here that, that consider Lugene part of their family for sure. Lugene is such a big part of the culture here at Odell. We wanted to make a beer to honor him. You can't make a beer for the milkman without making a milk stout. And we took that one step further. Why not make it a chocolate milk stout? And if you're gonna make a chocolate milk stout, you might as well throw it in a whiskey barrel because everything is better in a whiskey barrel. <laughs> We don't think that he told his wife that we named a beer after him for like probably months after the beer came out. He's humble. He would never, uh, never admit that we think so highly of him. You know, taking things slowly and doing it the right way, there's really something to be said for that. I, I don't think enough people do that these days. But Lugene does things the way that they've 
always been done. He feeds the cows what they need. He takes the milk and puts the milk in a container, and then that's the milk. Right now, the facilities we got match the market that we have. I'm real happy the way it is. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to grow anymore. That's not something I went looking for. It just was given to me, and I'm grateful for it because I love it.